Hey, it's Duke of Fortune Man again, and this is yet another episode of Derping with Duke. Um, still using Mr. Top 10 list account. Right now I'm on my, uh, currently I'm on my own account, which is Tiberius F. But, yeah, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of random people on PSN. Well, if anyone watched this channel. So, there's a positive in that. Um, let's see, I'm another nemesis. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is- I remember this match. This match, I was so dumb. Do not judge me, because this- this went horribly. If I remember correctly, I just got my ass kicked. It's not- well, I- I don't know how to fight Morgan, that is- that is true, but I just sat still. Something about lag was just destroying me this match. Doesn't look like it. Trust me, I'm gonna do badly, you just wait. Um, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, go into chaotic flame. I could've gone into- um, yeah, he only does Soul Drain, which is a strange thing. He doesn't have Morrigan... He doesn't have real Morrigan strings, either. He doesn't do the Soul Fist Flight, Soul Fist Flight, Soul Fist Flight. And that traded, because Shadow Clones are strange. And I've lost all my meter, and I'm getting hit by drones. And I'm not jumping for some reason. I am trying to jump teleport right now. I'm trying to super jump, I'm trying to go into flight, anything. Nothing is happening. You have no idea. I should have just taken this out, but, eh. I don't like to be one of those guys who does um, a, bunch of, a bunch of matches and takes out all the bad ones. I want the good and bad in there, because otherwise it just feels dishonest, you know? Um, I still have no meter, and Dormammu is easily going to be chipped out. He's not even shooting any anti I really, I really don't know why I'm dying to this so badly. I don't have a meter with Strange, and... And I did not convert off that. What I should do, um, just because in Anchor, in level 3 X-Factor, Anchor Strange doesn't really need the Crumple Confirm, because that's how he gets a lot of damage normally. Um, what I should just do is, as soon as I hit with a normal, go into Crouching Heavy, which is a low, so that's a that's a plus. And then go into um, Mystic Sword L. It'll keep him at the right height for me to do follow-up with that. I can also jump up. I've got ample time in X-Factor. Anyway, I hit twice, and... I hit twice, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange's pushback, or my bad use of his pushback got me killed, and yeah, that was very embarrassing. There was a time when I refused to believe that that match existed. Ooh, that was... Anyway, this is the same session as the last episode, which is just a bunch of ranked matches. I was saying on the last one, and got sidetracked, as far as future content on this channel, I was thinking of making a um, ratchet guide. and. Evil Cole was more of a few B&Bs and really how to hit it and how to keep momentum, and Ratchet will be a lot more about zoning tools, range tools. Um, I've noticed that a lot of Ratchets really don't... Instead of just doing your sniper shot on the ground, if you do it a tiny bit off the ground, you can combo, you can combo into it the same way, and it's exactly as fast as the sniper shot on the ground. You can also change the aim at the last minute without really affecting the startup, so if people jump, if people roll forward, you can just move a bit up, move a bit down. And on Reflex, you have significantly better zoning, you've got a lot of damage. Um, I'm up against a Hagar, Dante, and Doom. Ooh, that looks really good. I don't see enough Hagar Dantes. He can get, um, he can do his drop kick and go straight into jam session and get follow-ups really easily, easily off it. Um, I saw a guy on stream recently who was playing Hagar May Cry. He was playing, um, Hagar, Dante, and Virgil with the Judgment Cut Assist. Surprisingly, Hagar can relaunch really well with the Judgment Cut. And since it's at a distance, he can do a lot of fun block strings after pipe, you can still stop him from push blocking. It's a really solid team. I highly recommend anyone who wants to play Hagar throwing in that random top tier. And you're using Judgment Cut Assist, so you're suddenly unique and interesting, you know? There has never been an opportunity where Blank May Cry was unique and interesting. And it is here, so I'd say anyone who wants the anyone who likes those three characters, hop on that team composition immediately. I'd say it's a good way to go. Um, finally got him with a cross-up, Dante's online, ooh. Why do I keep going for that? I can just tower flames, but... I do not like keeping combos small, is a- OH GOD! Yep, um... Wow, I hit him and I didn't convert- I shouldn't have hit him, but I did, and I didn't convert off him. That was silly. Um, yep. Oh! That's nice. 
problem with Dormammu is he can get by doing really, really simple, basic, super, super easy combos. Um, this should probably be the end of... This should be the end of Doom. Doom cannot beat Dormammu if... If both people know what they're doing, Doom cannot beat Dormammu. And Stalking Flare, and... Oh my god, it traded. Um, he didn't get enough time to go off it. I thought he'd get enough time to OTG, but... And now he has to make... Now he has to go through the minefield again. There is no way that's happening again. Uh, Stalking Flare hits him, and... Yay! Um, Dorm Strange. There is potential for not infinite block strings, but really, really long, really, really long, annoying range strings. Because you can get a lot of charges during Strange. Once you um, throw out Meteors, you can either get more towers, more charges, wait for Strange to recharge, throw out a Stalking Flare. He's got a lot of options there, and I've been too busy with um, Nemesis and Nova to really explore what options are there. Problem is, a lot of my teams are new, so they're they are improving rapidly, but they're also... They also don't know a lot of basic confirmations that my older teams do. My older teams... I used to run Nemesis X23 Amateros, which... is a really solid team, except for the fact that Nemesis doesn't really do well with Gold Star, and he doesn't have, like, a full-screen neutral assist. He doesn't have one of those beams, or he doesn't have, um... A, he doesn't have anything high durability that goes far across the screen. And he needs that. He really needs that, or Vajra, or maybe Missiles, to have a good time in neutral. And he's a low tier character, so he needs that advantage. So I was playing him pretty raw, but... X-23, she can lock down into Dirt Nap stuff with Cold Star. She can relaunch with Cold Star. She can actually relaunch and hit with the rocket for um, Clothesline Rocket Assist, which is amazing. Because if I believe it is... Um, not including mode supers to boost um, damage on stuff, it is the most powerful assist in the game. Uh, profit assist? Someone proved me wrong if I'm wrong. Oh, hey, it's a Phoenix Riot. I don't see that often. Um, Phoenix Riot for that matchup, well, you don't really need anything for that matchup, but a good thing to note is that you can um, command grab through his... you can command, command grab through his Maya shield. But good Phoenix Riots are ready for that. Oh, that was not nice. Let's see if I can cut... Okay, he switched out. Taskmaster... I just gotta be careful about Taskmaster's eclipses. Um, I gotta get a combo off this. Yes, um, reset? Yes. People don't expect the reset after the, um, after a full launch because people don't really, um, land's deadly reach into a standing heavy. Which is how you get the, which is how you get the close one rocket. Phoenix Wright just is not getting close. He's got, he's got a really good normal in that finger, but if you stay out of range or you stay too close for him to actually get use of it, you can take down um, Turnabout Phoenix Rites. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Um, okay, Akuma's coming in, and he's just running into every single projectile. Um, is he gonna get a full convert off this? Yes, he is. Ooh, and he was a bit far away for that to hit, or maybe there wasn't enough. Oh, there's gotta be enough hits now, I don't know. Ooh, you hate to see this kind of thing happen. And I feel pretty bad there, because I just came in with a button, and he didn't have his incoming ready. But, I love Phoenix Wright, and I still- I think they could have kept his assist invincible. Made him a fun gimmick team. Because on his own, He's got decent zoning with the cell phone, but by the time you die from chip, he's run out of his mode and he has to do all the work again. And, I mean, a lot of people say he's bad because of the randomness in getting evidence, but that's not it. I mean, there's a lot of setups with um, long-lasting assists, with team hyper combos. Um, even if you kill and then immediately DHC Phoenix right in, he can get a lot of assists. He can get a lot of evidence searches off of really simple stuff. And then he can get an he can get an instant change into turnabout mode off the DHC. I mean, off a THC, off a TAC. Exact same thing. He, a good team based around Phoenix Wright will get rid of that random factor pretty easily. What I'd say is bad is people like Frank West, who also need sort of an who also need a bit of a boost to um get to playable neutral. Frank West is way easier to do it for. And I think he has got more benefits than turnabout mode. Phoenix Wright still has very, very few mix-ups when he's in turnabout mode. He's got really good footsies, and he's got really good damage, but... The thing is, if you're a good blocker and you know the Phoenix Wright matchup, 
unless they get you into the corner and set up Maya, at which point they can do an unblockable. If they don't get you into the corner, you can block them indefinitely. And I think I'm fighting the same guy again. Yes, I am. Takakuma is really good. I think if Phoenix Wright was second and he could Maya in on the DHC, give himself some free evidence searches, that would be a lot better for this game composition. But that's just me, so I don't know. Ooh. Oh, damn it. And Maya can block those? Well, that was terrible. Um, yeah, Purification Tower doesn't do well against Maya's shield, just because it's got a pretty big hitbox. Horizontally, even though it's a giant tower, you'd be surprised at how. Oh, and now he's going in fishing for that. As long as I stay away, he's going to run straight into Purification Towers. And, yeah. Okay, that worked out great. Um... Ooh, he's just one of those guys who spam shield skills. As long as I make him whiff... Oh, I tried to go in for another tri-dash. You can do that, but it's so much easier to just go into crouch and heavy relaunch. Um, at that point, you just want to keep it simple, because it does not change the damage much to add anything more fancy. Um, luckily, I think I think um, Dormammu versus Akuma is a very fun matchup for Dormammu, just because all of his flame hands can go through... All of his flame hands and all of his, um, a lot of his buttons can go through projectiles. There we go, bear throw. And I can do that if I wave dash, but this is online, and wave dashing with Dormammu is sketchy already, just because he's got a really terrible wave dash. And standing overhead, I am just sitting back. A lot of times, since I'm used to a lot of bad people online, what I do is just down back, wait for them to do something unsafe, get the free punish, yay, all well and good. Ooh, I got him. However, I'm starting to fight higher level people online, and I'm not used to fighting really, really, really good Marvel dudes. I mean, aside from aside from my housemates, a lot of guys I ran into online were when I was early, when I was a ninth lord or something, or random guys in lobbies, and they don't play as smart. I'm starting to fight smart people now, and I can't just sit back and wait for them to do something unsafe. I have to stop them before they get into their stuff. Which is why I'm finding Zoning Nemesis really useful. Oh wow, and it looks like it's already the end of the episode. Well, that was a short one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I'll have some more um, ranked matches up. I'll have some stuff as soon as I can record. Anyway, see you later.